Hey everyone, I'm here with my neighbor Sam today and we're doing something a little bit different. We're in a farm field and we're looking for arrowheads and there's a homestead up on top of a hill in front of us. We're gonna check that out with a metal detector. So, uh, don't know what we'll do fine, but hopefully we find something. Okay, we got a hit. Dig her up. Found a little square nail in this hole. It's kind of fun. Well, I'm not an expert on artifacts, so I don't know if this is anything. I just wonder if it's some sort of a scraper, but uh, could just be a skinny rock. Well, what do you think? And we have found a link of a chain. Exciting. So up on the top of this hill is where the old log cabin was. It's supposed to have been built in 1872. Well, I just found that. Didn't even need a metal detector. Don't know what it is. Probably some piece of farm equipment. I don't know. How's the bucket of nails coming along? Nails and a couple little rocks. All right, I just picked up a little piece of ceramic and it has words on it, but my eyes aren't picking it up. There's another piece of it. What do you think it said, maybe? Something stone, maybe? Something stone with a B. B O something stone. A little decorative edge on it. Oh, it's kind of fun. I got a little higher pitched tone here and this is picking stuff up in a little bigger area. So maybe we got something good here. Whoops. I don't know what that is. Sam just found one of them there things. What is that, Sam? Um, it's a, it's a doodad. Oh yeah, okay. I thought it was a whatchamacallit, but you might be right about a doodad. Nice! Alright, maybe the most interesting thing of the day. You think that's part of a horse harness, you say? Something like that, some sort of farm equipment. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And some glass. Yep, just each found a piece of glass. And we're gonna keep looking. Got a lot of field to look at yet. Just found a big piece of pottery. Maybe from one of those old ceramic like milk jug type things. Maybe. Yeah, kind of looks like that. It's big, whatever it was. You can see the curve isn't very, very sharp. Well, Sam's way over there with the metal detector, and I'm here without a metal detector, and I just found that. Which I have no idea what it is. Well, Sam just found this little blue rock. It's kind of like a fossil shell almost, maybe, but it's been filled in with something else. Yeah, I don't know. It's pretty. Let's see what it looks like when it gets washed off, maybe. Yep, we got some cleaning to do later today. Like my hands, for example. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we just found a buckle of some sort. I don't know if it's for a belt or some sort of a harness or... But it's a buckle. And it was right there. Found a ceramic... Probably lid from... It says mason jars on it, so I think it's a lid for a mason jar. Coke bottle, huh? It's a miracle it's not in a million pieces in this field. I, I know. I know. How many times that's been plowed over, broken top, but still pretty cool. Do those have dates on them, do you know? It says Michigan. Oh, oh, oh. 
Alpena, Michigan. Oh, that's fun. Um, I think I heard the dates were on the side somewhere. Um, I just like that it says Alpena, Michigan on it. Ah, there's a number. A lot of numbers. <laughs> and letters. Something bottle mark registered bottle patented there's the patent number and stuff. Trademark registered minimum content six fluid ounces. Six fluid ounces. That hardly quench your thirst, huh? Yeah. <laughs> It's very well, thick, that, it looks like. That's really cool. It's way down inside, yeah. All right, dare you take a swig. <laughs> Play. All right, so uh, obviously we're back and we got everything cleaned up. I should say Sam's cleaned everything up. I did nothing. <laughs> so uh, what do we have here, Sam? Um, we have a lot of stuff. We've got uh, some pieces of plow equipment. Probably uh, from horse or tractor. We don't know what era. It's, it was. It's it, the farm was in operation for a long time, so could be any time from back in the 1800s up till modern day. We've got it's probably uh, buckles from horse tack equipment and a hook, probably from horse tack as well. Some square nails and then some modern nails, and this short one could possibly be from a uh, horseshoe, maybe potentially. And then some bits of glass we found on the surface. Bit of a mason jar. This one is kind of neat. It says ironstone on it, which has been made back uh, starting in the 1800s and up until for a while in the 1900s at least, possibly up until today. <laughs> we don't know much about yeah. our history. <laughs> yeah, kind of a cool piece of blue, ga blue, blue glass. And then it's a bit of a crock. It's kind of neat. And then the find of the day was this Coke bottle, we believe was from 1947. It says uh, 47 there. Which I believe we looked up online how that's the, they're dated with that, and then that's the number for the machine that made the bottle. Oh, okay. And you didn't tell me that part. And my favorite part is down in the bottom where it says Alpena, Michigan, which is where we live. So that's kind of fun. And then these are modern nails, uh, round nails or whatever. And for artifacts, we didn't really find much, but I think this one has the most potential to be something. It's clearly broken on both sides if it was an artifact, but it's very smooth that way. And uh, there, there's one technique uh, artifacts were made, like they ground certain tools out of softer stones. So it could have been something, but not really sure there. Not experts at all. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know that that's anything, but it was an interesting shape chip, so I picked it up. So those are our finds. So uh if you'd like to see more videos, i got a couple linked here, so click on one of those and we'll see you in the next video.